Masia. All right, so we had a question here for why does this deck work so well, and I think it's it's one the versatility where you can you can play aggressive like some hands you can be aggressive but you can also be control like you can you can kind of do everything but then two it is it finishes the game very effectively Ezreal is hard to interact with and Ezreal with a bunch of spells with the nexus damage that this deck has it, it can finish games very effectively I like all these cards now the thing I'm I'm worried that Static Shock won't actually kill stuff. Maybe Static Shock with House Spider. I think this is actually a pretty decent hand. I don't want to see Rangers Resolve. Um, I don't really want to see anything that's tough. Like the two mana, two, two tough. Uh, we have removal for the Battlesmith. Is that the name of the card? Um, you know, that card right away. Because you gotta kill that thing immediately. The yeah, that'll Gotta kill that thing immediately. And we have the, the ability to do that. Alright, so just one extra mana. I think I can play the House Spider first and then Thermogenic Beam this thing. I think we're good there. Ooh. Let's go Draven. You know, like repost that kills my Draven. They can still get this, like, you know, it's still Demacia. Like, they can play a bunch of, you know, like, good size, big Demacia things, like a bunch of Garens and stuff like that. And, and you know, they have, like, the For the Fallen card. Like, this this game is not over. They, We started well by killing the two Battlesmiths, but still, um, they have some really good cards still. Really hope this works. Please, no Rages Resolve. Okay, good. The one problem with that is that did take my card to kill a Garen. So, Ezreal, you are at four. You know, because I wanted to be able to, like, damage a Garen and then Scorched Earth it. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Do you th still think it's over? Hey, buddy, what you doing? Gave my all. Four out of six. Ooh. I love that draw. That is a very good draw. Oh no. Ugh. I hate that. One shot, all skill. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, this is why Mono Demasi can be good. So I think I'm going to play Culling Strike right now. Charge. I'm like a Bannerman. I 
guess I'm gonna Scorched Earth. Yeah, I guess you kind of have to. Obstacle, gauntlet. I don't even know if I really like this block, but <clears throat> I do have Progress Day. And of course I have this Tribune probably later. Ho hopefully they don't kill my Ezreal. I probably should have had. I probably should have had those sw switched. <laughs> I should probably should have rather swapped the two health. Uh, didn't get punished. Come on, <laughs> card's so good. Ah, that's all right. We got try beam probably later. Obviously, my worst-case scenario is them having the Sharp Sight and be able to block an Elusive. <clears throat> Not the worst-case scenario. Uh, let's see, if I play this... No, I don't have time to play this this turn. Okay, so that's just gonna happen. I like that rally. That rally's not that good of a card. Oh no, are you kidding me? It's like the worst four drop of all time. That is the worst four drop. I was definitely counting on my four four mana card to be able to have three power. I was certainly counting on that. Like if if our four mana card just had three power, obviously it would have been just fine. So now we're gonna have to top deck a removal spell between our draw step and our progress day. Damn, that was a very unlucky tribe even probably later. Finally. <laughs> that was close. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I'm just gonna pass. Today we turn the tide of war. My journey continues. Time for a true display of skill. Ooh, that was close. But I think we got this from here. I didn't really do the math of if uh, playing Draven Sounds dangerous. I'm in. <clears throat> makes sense, or if I could have just killed them From my homeland. without playing it. You know, if I didn't spend the mana, this three mana here. My story ends. It's probably fine, though. So they're at nine, so this puts them to six. This puts them to three. And then we have spinning axes and mushroom clouds and all that kind of stuff that kills them. So. Cool. Firing. No, didn't play around the top deck sharp sight. Nope. We, cause, cause they're like out of cards. I still would, you know, be able to draw a card with static shock, draw another card with zonite urchin, and then the draven, you know, would have killed something. We would have been fine still. That was close. Got that last card was that mystic shot though. So five and oh. Okay. I like these cards. If we would have drawn something that we didn't need, we could have discarded that to draw, but... Okay, there we go. Like, we can discard that. This Fiora, this Fiora kill is going to be kind of rough. Yeah, like, maybe, 
I'm really hoping they don't have the card Fiora, because obviously our game plan is just to play a whole bunch of blockers and and uh, stay alive by just blocking a bunch, right? With a bunch of small things. That's that's our entire game plan. That game plan does not work against the card Fiora. So my hope is that they just have not drawn and will not draw the card Fiora. That is my hope. No Fiora. Something else. Something else. We were forged in Perfect. Fire. Good card. Good card. Death begins your forever fable. Hey, <laughs> you think the taking the thorny toad is the right decision? All that stalking chat is. It was a tough one. I don't always. It's difficult to make the right decision, but I. I I feel pretty good about taking that thorny toad. Prepare for battle. Fiora is the only champion in the game you, you really hate losing to. Yeah, Fiora is kind of obnoxious. I will last for you. So I could save the glimpse beyond for Fiora, but I feel like if they had Fiora, they would have played it. So I. I don't need to sit back and wait. This will help keep their Shivana from leveling up. <laughs> we have have a dog doing dog things behind me, rolling around. Cliss is good at just like distracting the opponent and making them think that we're gonna be doing other stuff or that you know it's just Callista is just good distraction basically make them use like they usually like use removal on Callista while it's not the Callista that matters like that see good distraction RV, RV, oh. Um, what are we doing? We're blocking. Blocking. Death becomes you. Hey, Boo, doing good. How you doing? Witness my true power. I didn't see. What did we toss? What did we toss? I need to pay attention more to what we're tossing. Cool, I like that card. I like that stalking shadows. Alright, Maokai, where are you at? You're still 11 away, also. I need this Maokai. Where are you? Oh, no. Now you're gonna come up here now? Okay. Alright, come here. Come here. More dragons. More dragoons. I'm not sure. Obviously, we're gonna do this. I'm not sure if any of these other, like, challenging any of these other things is, is honestly even worth it. Just does, like, one damage, but that increases, increases their power by one and their health by... You know, it goes down by one. Like, that's probably not really even that worth it. We were I hope they can't give that overwhelm. Prepare for battle! Seventeen. 
<clears throat> We're finding our Callistas. Maybe I need a Fading Memories, this Wanderer. So this is 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Really hope they don't have a rally. Okay, come on, Maokai. Mm. All right, we're gonna play one of you now. I kind of need some more cards. Man, bottom nine cards. Still haven't seen any of the three Maokais. Let me just pass here. We can block, you know, three things. Yeah, it's not a bad pass. Bottom eight cards. Now, I'm gonna wait till we find the Maokai before. And because you know now we get to toss some more things, which is good. I'll recite your rights. You have to get me out of here. Yeah, as long as they don't have overwhelm, we're good. None escape. So eight cards left. There's one Callista, three Maokai, so that's four. So there's four other cards. We're gonna toss three of the four. Those would have been pretty good cards. Alright, so we have a 60% chance of drawing Maokai now. Um, yeah, I guess they just pass. Stalking Shadows? So my my deck is just one Callista, three Maokai. So there there is no... Yeah, obviously I can counterfeit copies and then you know find more. No, so this... I, I guess I could just... I can't cast Veteran Investigator. I have to counterfeit copies at first. So, like, if I do counterfeit copies the Veteran Investigator, then you're looking at putting four of those in, so now you're, you know, less than 50% chance of drawing the Maokai. Harvey! Hey. Finally! Okay, hopefully this is not lethal. Awesome, not lethal. I feel like they probably could have killed... And there we go. So I think I think we got this now. I feel like they probably could have killed me, right? Like, do they not have like any pump spells or just play another dragon or anything? I guess they're like worried about ruination. I think that's, that's the thing. I think they're worried about ruination. That's probably what it was. I guess I do need to worry about them drawing a rally. Okay, not anymore. When tribe calls, a reply is proper. Let's go. The more we learn, the less we fear. Veteran investigator. And so and that should be game. They draw this card. Now I get priority. And then we have them draw another card, which they can't, so they lose. GG. Awesome. I don't think they were expecting that. <laughs> Well, I like the first three cards in hand. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to keep star shaping against scouts or not. I'll go ahead and mulligan the star shaping. Like star shaping could be a card that that helps us stabilize in the late game, which could be really nice. But the thing is, is we have to stabilize the board uh, before that or around that time. So we'll just go ahead and mulligan. Are they playing? They're playing quid. Okay. Take the trades. Time for a true display of skill. No prey, no pay. <clears throat> so they can have the plus two, plus two, and allow them to block elusives. That card's kind of messy. And stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? Not really. I like getting that out of their hand there and not have a static shock. I gotta show you the sights of Bilgewater. The sights are fine. The smells, on the other hand. Hope they don't have another one. Yep, there's the sharp side, the plus two, plus two, and can block elusive. Power! Just like hunting thresher geese. Love ya. I'm thinking about taking the Moonsilver. Uh, let's see, next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, because then Moonsilver will allow us to have Vi and Mystic Shot next turn. Scouting ahead. Hold still. I spilled. So they've attacked twice for both of these things. I don't miss. Trouble coming at ya. Man, are they gonna have repost also? Man, I guess if they just have repost, they just have it all. GG's. Come on. Seriously? Okay, well then. I do this now. Break up that barrier. Firing. Don't let them reinforce. Back here. Set sail. Crazy. Crazy. Now this thing levels up, so a single ballistic shot is going to kill it. So that's seven damage. They just end up having another Relentless Pursuit. You know, GG's. Okay, good. One shot, all skill. My 
my kind of party. That sharp sight card's pretty good. I guess I should have led with Solari Priestess. Um, and I feel like I have to play. I feel like I have to play Solari Priestess here, just for the blocker. I don't get. I don't get the invoke, but we can get a ton of invoke <coughs> with help from the Living Legends. Heretic. You're between me and glory. No sweat. <sighs> Do I want to have Living Legends with just seven mana? No. We'll have Living Legends next turn. Two. I can Guiding Touch and save the Ezreal, but I also just have a brand new Ezreal. I think I'll just use the new Ezreal. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just going to play new Ezreal. New Ezreal will not be uh, vulnerable like this one is. Man, crazy game. It looks like we're going to get this. Okay, so 10 mana. I guess I'm going to go Trickster and the Destroyer. For 10 mana. Oh, maybe not. No, we don't really need we don't really need our things to be plus two plus two. Because I guess I realize that if they have if they do have um, misfortune, kind of need the falling comet to kill misfortune. All right, so this this will do three to them. Another mystic shot does three. Yeah, so if they do have if they do have misfortune, we can just kill them. So we just go crescent strike. Uh, put them down to three, and then we have Mystic Shot. Which I can just... Ah, I can just do that with this anyway. I'm one of the good guys, but not that good. Okay, so we can kill them before, before the misfortune damage happens. Fresh out of mercy. It was Misfortune. It was their best card. And Ezreal is victorious. GG's. Ah. <laughs> we cannot get away from Bilgewater Shadow Isles. Three for three. This is another Go Hard deck. Can't get away from Go Hard. And 
No, I don't want my Fizz to die to go hard. We're gonna wait on that. I pull the strings. Skitter out from the darkness. So do I want to trade? Iron Ballista for a Lease plus a Go Hard. I don't know, I'll just go this 1 1. You'll serve me one way or another. One way or another. Alright, well, I guess I gotta kill this at least to keep it from leveling up, I guess. what I wanted to do. Alright, so we got five cards. They got four. They got the two one ones. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I really hope they do not have spray fins, right? Like I hope I hope they like these spray fins. Gotta go with the oh, they got spray fins. That's too bad. I need to stop having elusives. Keep up, keep up. Ooh. They're going with nab. That could be bad. Eyes up here, or I'll oh, come on. Out. Really? Prowling cutthroat? Blocks Fizz. I grab my Slippery Wave Rider. Okay, I like the Draven draw. Open wide, sugar. Sit right there and claw at me. Oh. So playing Draven means that I only have one spell for protection for the Fizz. So to keep two spells available, I need to play the Golden Narwhal. <clears throat> Instead of Draven. Oh, I guess, no, because I'd have two spells because then I'd get, I'd get the Spinning Axe. Duh. Withering Whale. At least the good news is these Withering Whale, Grassy, and Dying, they're still at 20. So they're not going to heal their Nexus any. That's the good news. Time for the main event. All the Fizz. Okay. That's a lot of them at Fizz. This should stop every single one of them, right? Stop all. Yes. Okay, good. So let's go let's go pick a card. And get rid of the precious pet. Ha. <laughs> good job, Fizz. Do I want to discard Fervor to level up Fizz and we gain... Yeah, I do. Alright, so I should have shuffled Fervor back in and discarded the 2-1. I didn't quite think this through. This you know, allows me to attack with the Draven here. We get another Spinning Axe. You know, we're replacing Fervor with Chum the Waters, which... You know, 
I don't, I don't know if that's like the best placement, but we got one out of two with the Draven, and we have a leveled up Fizz now. Ooh. But I have all these Elixir of Wraths on the defensive turn. Time for the money makers. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Let's level up Draven. Do wonder if their plan is ruination. What's my name? It might be like ruination's like a way to get rid of Fizz. Okay, take Elixir of Wrath. No, Golden Narwhal. Nothing blocks. That card's already vulnerable, though, so I can challenge it. Deal me in. That was a so bad play you. by them. They should just be gold carding. I guess I can't protect my Fizz and give it elusive. You know, have, I can't have it unblockable and protect it. Can't do both of those things. So obviously we're gonna do, do this. we're gonna do these two, obviously. Could have gone for lethal instead of having my grenadier trade. Yeah, yeah. If I act something, yeah. Again, I could have gone for lethal, but yeah, we don't know. They just have any kind of removal or any kind of nexus healing or anything. So that decimate that was from me, of course. They're not playing Noxus, so that's the other card they stole with. <clears throat> Spinning axe. Okay. That was the other card they stole with uh, the. Pilfer goods earlier. Gotta go with the flow. Yeah, we had, so we had a brother's bond and a pocket aces, and then they've dealt. Yeah, you know, they dealt. Uh, so that would normally have Fizz be a seven three, but they they did deal a damage to Fizz with I think a red card earlier. cards in hand. <laughs> By me playing the Grenadier, we give them all of the information. They, of course, know both of these cards. Draven created one, Fizz created the other. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Dead in their tracks. <laughs> Good call. Last time they didn't do gold card. This time they figured it out. <clears throat> Fizz can't stop gold card. So I do have to block Twisted Fate. If they attack Zap Spray Fin, Twisted Fate, I have to block. Because uh, Spinning Axe would represent 5 damage. So we have to block with our Grenadier. Alright, we still get the 5-2 anyway. So that's just good for me. They did that right there. It used to be where you didn't get the long tooth, but they changed the wording of the card. So that you still get the long tooth. It's two separate things. Grant an enemy vulnerable and summon long tooth. It's two, two separate things. So now we don't necessarily need to block anymore. 
We have seen them play Warning Shot. Yes, they could do this, then have like a couple of Warning Shots. I guess it's it's safest to block. But it makes my attack worse, right? Like if they like this makes this is worse against like you know Grasp the Undying, which we've also seen. You can just have like one warning shot and one unspeakable horror. Like spinning axe discard the other thing. That's a good draw. Got axes, need victims. You're bluffing. That should still be game. That heals them for three, but then they take three here, take three there, so. Yep. Alright, we're 3 and 0 with Draven Fizz. Man, we have fought through three Bilgewater Shadow Isles decks. Three decks with all these Shadow Isles removal. And not a bot with a sub. Oh, another Ezreal deck. Okay, this, this Ezreal deck's not going to be playing Deny for the give it all. Yeah, we got rank up Thursday today. That's what usually happens. I feel like Thursday, Friday, sometimes Saturday. Like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like these three days. One of those one of those three days each week, we have like a really great day. And win a lot of games. It's never Sunday. <laughs> um this will pass. Life steal. Don't blink, or you miss me. See, I, I don't want to just use all six mana on the thermogenic beam on this. Uh, maybe I do though. Maybe I just do. No way. Doesn't let them get a free Mystic Shot on my Mighty Poro. Because I can pass now, and the onus is on them to do something. Here's some. How can Drum help? They have those like Scorched Earth kind of cards that are always annoying, but you know, can't do too much about it. We still. All right. Well. Make sure it's not a three damage spell that kills the Braum. Wow, two turns in a row with the gotchas. So they also have Ravenous Flock. Wow, uh, this is this is uh, not good. Not good. I, would, I obviously wish I didn't keep give it all in my hand, knowing that we just draw multiple others. Life steal. Life steal could be good. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think keeping give it all was the correct play, but it just, you know, really backfired. But I think it was the cor correct play. Follow along, little ones. My friend, you are lucky, man. Swain's Ravenous Flock, we were expecting.
Now we're just gonna try to level up Braum. I mean, they already have they already have their Swain leveled up, so. I guess I, I guess I shouldn't have played the Daring Poro. Right? Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have played the Daring Poro. I will. Alright, that's eight. Here comes the punchline. I, I think that overall I would be. Uh, pretty confident in winning this matchup more than half of the time, but they their cards lined up really well against my cards this game and Yeah, you know, they had both their champions immediately like one on turn three one on turn five and uh, Yeah, that had those gotchas that were perfect and Yeah, looks like they're gonna get this one and then obviously we have three Uncastable eight drops immediately Leveled up, Braum. It is easy, see? Stun isn't a keyword. So we shouldn't be giving anything else done. Alright, 8-6. Elusives. Puts them down to 3 if I just do this. Or I could like challenge here. <clears throat> Get another Mighty Poro. Put them down to 11. Let's just do that. Maybe I should be challenging the 3 2 also. Try to keep them from going wide. Because, like, them at 11, we can still kill them the next turn fairly easily. <laughs> yeah, you don't see you don't see an elusive Braum killing a Swain very often. <laughs> yeah, like, when, when's the last time you see that? Deploy! All right, let's make him nine power. And let's give him overwhelm. Okay. So they're looking for a get excited. Hopefully no get excited. Just the Static Shock. All right, GG's. How about that? We still pick that win up. Poro, give it all. Wow, I was not expecting to win that one.